I'm Megan Clayton, a range specialist with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. After you get your native field established, it may be important to maintain it free of brush regrowth. To accomplish this task, you can use our Brush Busters individual plant treatment method using either a foliar or leaf spray, a stem or a basal spray, or a cut stump method. For any of these methods, you'll need a hand or backpack sprayer. The nozzle you select will depend on the method. Any foliar sprays will need to cover all of the leaf surface until wet but not dripping. This is best achieved with a T-Jet nozzle in an X8 size. Adding in a check screen behind the nozzle will help keep the nozzle from getting clogged up or dripping. The mix for a foliar spray will be a certain percent of a chemical, which will vary depending on your brush species, a quarter percent non-ionic surfactant, and a quarter percent blue dye, all mixed in water. This method works best when brush are less than six feet tall, with good, healthy leaves that are actively growing. Quit spraying during flowering or bean elongation because the plant is likely to be putting its resources out, not down to the roots. You want to spray when the plant is storing its resources in the roots so it'll take the chemical down there as well to the bud zone and kill the plant. For stem or cut stump sprays, you will want the chemical mix to be directed onto the stem or cut stump only. Therefore, you'd use a smaller orifice such as a nozzle sized as a T-Jet X1 or 2. The mix for a stem or cut stump spray is easy. It's just 15% triclopyr with the trade name of Remedy and 85% diesel and of course a quarter percent blue dye. The only exception would be if you were spraying the stem with a diameter more than one and a half inches or with really tough bark. In this case, you may want to increase the amount of Remedy to 25%. There's no need to add a surfactant with a stem or a cut stump. Spray the bark 12 inches high all the way around the stem and all the way down to the ground. For the cut stump method, you can use a number of tools to remove the tree as flat and as far down as possible without getting any dirt on the stump, and then spray the entire cut surface and any remaining stem with the Remedy and Diesel Mix. The stem and the cut stump methods can be done any time of the year. Remember, if you do the foliar or the stem spray methods, you'll need to leave that tree alone for at least one full growing season so the chemical can get down to the roots and do its job. Our Brush Busters publications are available on the Texas A&M AgriLife Bookstore website and are tailored for specific brush species.